Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the makeup, a tutorial on the makeup that I'm wearing right now. As you can see, I'm wearing a little bit of color. I'm wearing pink and a little bit of peach on my lids. And um, I wanted to kind of like say goodbye to summer with this makeup. In reality, I wear this makeup anytime during the year. I don't really care if it's summer, winter, fall. I don't really like to follow trends like that when it comes to like the color of my eyeshadow. I just go based on what I feel for that day. And today I feel like wearing some color. It's been a while. Um, my last couple of tutorials have been super neutral and super in my comfort zone. And I don't like wearing color. I actually love it. I think it really makes my eyes, um, like brown eyes, stand out. But for some reason, I kind of always feel that wearing neutrals is more daytime appropriate. I don't know. I'm crazy like that, but that's just me. But anyways, if you want to see exactly how I created this look, then just keep on watching. To begin, make sure that your lids are primed and then go ahead and take a matte brown eyeshadow. I'm using Rewind from the Urban Decay by Sue Palette. And we're going to be blending this into the upper crease area as our transitional shade. And you already know the drill. We're going to be blending this in a windshield swiper motion until it's nice and blended. Next, take in Habit, which is a bold color eyeshadow. This is actually a matte eyeshadow. We're going to be using it for a subtle highlight on the brow bone area. And then we go back with a blending brush and just blend them together nicely. Next, wetting a concealer brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, we're going to be taking the color Dope from the same palette. This is kind of like a shimmery vanilla color eyeshadow. And we're going to be packing this in the inner lid and taking it all the way to the mid section of the lid. As you can see, I'm just packing it to get a good color payoff. And next I'm taking Toxic, which is a beautiful and intoxicating coral eyeshadow. And we're going to be mixing that, kind of like blending it in the center of the lid. You want a really pretty and nice gradient effect, so make sure that you tap it and you go back and forth between both shadows so that you get a nice gradient effect. Next I'm taking Ambush, which is a gorgeous deep bronzy brown eyeshadow with a small fluffy brush. We're going to be packing this into the outer V. Until we get a nice intensity, then we're going to just blend that into the crease very softly. Right when you're done packing on the color into the outer V, just go back in with a blending brush and blend the color into the crease. Then proceed to apply a couple of coats of mascara from your favorite mascara just to prep them for false lashes. And actually, I would suggest to first um, go ahead and line your eyes using a little bit of gel or liquid liner. I actually forgot and I go ahead and do it now. Uh, but just create a very, very thin line. All that we want is a nice dark root so that we can apply our false lashes. That's it. <laughs> And I am actually super super excited about the lashes that I will be using today. They are by the brand Moi Makeup. You can find them at some malls and they actually have an online store as well. And I have a coupon code of 20% off so if you want to use them. These are the styles spiked up. I really 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 love these lashes. Super easy to apply. They look really natural but flirty at the same time. Just perfect. I really love them. The code is um, Penela20, so I will leave it down in the description box if you're interested. They're really affordable, like three, four dollars. Really, really affordable, and I really love them. So next, go ahead and apply a black eyeliner into the waterline. And now for the fun part, take your favorite pink eyeshadow. I'll be using Savage by Urban Decay, and we're going to be applying this into the lower lash line area. As you can see, I'm going to apply it with a pencil brush from the beginning of your lash line all the way to the end um, and I want it super dramatic so as you can see I bring it all the way to the inner corners of the eyes in a straight line so it can be more dramatic and it can open my eyes a little bit more and make sure that you take your time blending this because it makes a huge difference now just apply some mascara to your bottom lashes and your eyes are done well, almost done. I forgot to apply my highlighters in the, in the corners of the eye. 
but that is the difference between one eye with highlighter and the other eye doesn't have it in a corner highlight <laughs> Now for the lips, I'm going to be using my favorite Lolita. I wanted something a little bit subtle, but not super subtle, because I still wanted to keep the look nice and fresh, and I really thought this was a perfect shade for it. For the inner corner highlights, I'm using Vanilla Pigment by MAC, which is a gorgeous highlight. I really, really love this one. And then for my cheeks, I wanted them to be nice and pink, so I'm using this pink blush by Tarte which I cannot remember the name of, but I will leave it right in the description box. To highlight my cheekbones and the high points of my face, of course I'll be using Champagne Pop. And for some extra, super extra highlights, I'm going to go over it just on the really highest points of my cheekbones with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey, which is definitely one of my favorite highlighters. I know, I love all of them. All of them, they're mine. <laughs> And after the highlight, the look is complete. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, that it inspires you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I see you guys next time. Mil besos. Bye-bye.